everybody, and happy Thanksgiving from everybody here at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Since we've been on the air, you know, we've received hundreds of letters from kids asking when they can play. Well, tonight we're going to do it. Kids are going to play along with their parents. That's right, two people in the hot seat at the same time. But I got to tell you this right now, I want no squabbling. If your mom or dad says final answer, final answer. That's all there is to it, just like at home. But I'm sure everybody's going to be on their best behavior around here. So if you're ready, let's meet the family teams we've flown in from all over the country. And they are Gus and Molly Wheeler, Salt Lake City, Utah. David Campbell and Peyton Kane, Bettery, Louisiana. Helen and Laura Barry, Rochester, New York. John and Laura Kane, Hesperia, California. Paul and Kelly Westmoreland, Zionsville, Indiana. Lisa and Colin Williamson, Kent, Washington. Mary and Jacob Woods, Elma, New York. Rob and Micah Aldridge, Newport, Oregon. Rod and Mandy Hansen, Pasco, Washington. Peter and Abby, Abai, Wallace, Mississippi. All right, now to keep things even, we've decided that only parents will play the fastest finger. Kids, keep your fingers crossed because here's tonight's first fastest finger question. Put these TV catchphrases in order of the time period their shows are primarily set, starting with the earliest. Yabba Dabba Doo, Book em, Dano, To the Moon, Alice, Live Long and Prosper. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. Yabba Dabba Doo, To the Moon, Alice, Book of Dano, and long, Live Long and Prosper. Let's see who got it right in the fastest time. Only one, the winner, Rob and uh, Michael. How you doing, Michael? Hello, Rob. Nice to have you here. Come on, let's play. Bob Aldridge and his son, Micah, from Newport, uh, Oregon. Welcome to the show. Nice to have you here. Micah is uh, 16 and I think the oldest of all of the uh, kids we have here. Congratulations. Thank you. What would you think of your dad winning that fastest finger? I was surprised, actually. <laughs> so was I. So okay. <laughs> no, he did well. What do you do, Micah? You go to high school? Yeah, I'm a junior at Newport High School. And you're 16. Wow. Yeah, I was 16. Yeah. And you got your first girlfriend. Yeah, recently. Her name's Liz. Really? She's cool. How serious is awesome. this? Awesome. It's uh, all right. Yeah? Yeah. Well, all right in a good way. If she's watching. Yeah, it's good. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. That's my final answer. It's good. It's good, all right? Come on. Does he watch? In fact, you have a whole... You've got five children, right? Five, uh, okay. Some of them are sitting right behind you there. The wife, Dawn, and uh, I believe Allison is there, and Caleb. Is right. that right? Yep. Nice to and have all Shelley of you and here. Jody. And Shelly and uh, Jody are back there, too. Hi, guys. All right, well, let's get started, okay? Nice to have you guys here. You know the rules. You know uh, the lifelines. You're 15 questions away from winning $1 million. And once you reach the $1,000 or $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money. And to help you win, you have those lifelines, 50-50. Ask the audience, and you can phone a friend. If you want to play along with Rob and Micah, go to abc.com right now and click on the Enhanced TV local. If you're ready, you ready, audience? Yeah, let's do it, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Here we go. For $100, which of the following would two teammates give each other after making a good play? Would it be a low two, a hanging four, a high five, or a thank you note? C, high five. Got it for one hundred dollars. A high five is what we do. Two hundred dollars. When someone says "I love lasagna," a common reply is, "Quote: If you love it so much, then quote what? Skip to my loo. Why don't you marry it? Go buy stock. You're gonna get cooties." Let's go with B. Why don't you marry it? 
Yeah, you got it right, Mike. Two hundred dollars. Very good. Rob, did you know that one? You know, I wasn't sure, so it's good that he came along. Yeah, absolutely. Three hundred dollars. How many wheels are on a typical skateboard? Two, four, six, one big one. Let's go with P four, please. Final. Yeah. Final. Got that one too for three hundred dollars. Micah, who needs Rob? Okay, here we go for five hundred dollars. Which of the following animals is known as the king of beasts? Elephant, eagle, gorilla, lion. D lion. Lion, the right answer. He is the king. We're going for a thousand dollars now. When performing a cartwheel, which of these body parts does not touch the ground? Head, left hand, right hand, right foot. Well, A, your head if you do it right. That's it. The head does not touch the ground. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back. We go for two thousand dollars. To Millionaire Family Style, we have uh, Rob and uh, uh, Micah Aldridge from Newport, Oregon, in the hot seats right now. Their family behind them. And uh, what do you do, Rob, for a living? Well, my wife and I um, own a tea shop. You know, like English Breakfast, Earl Grey, that kind of thing. A tea shop. Tea shop. Yeah. Uh huh. And Micah teaches Taekwondo. Uh, yeah, I do teach Taekwondo five days a week after school. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's through eight. To other kids. Other kids. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that I'm a black belt in that? Are you? Yeah. Wow. Would you like to see me do a little taekwondo? I would love to see you do a little taekwondo. I'm kidding. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> but you must be pretty good if you're a teacher. I think I'm pretty good. Yeah. I... Micah, do you really love this girl? Yes. I love her very much. Okay, good. Okay. Just, I just want to know these things before we continue. All right, here's where we stand. All your lifelines are still there. You won a thousand dollars. You're going for two thousand. Ten away from a million. Let's play. Here we go. For two thousand dollars, in the 1995 movie Babe, the title character is raised by what type of animal? Cat, duck, dog, sheep. Raised, it's probably the dog. Okay. Sea dog. Final answer? Final answer. Yes, Rob, you got it. It was the dog. Good job. It was the dog. Four thousand dollars. Here it is. Which of the following ingredients is traditionally found in Nestle Toll House cookies? Dried cranberries, oatmeal. Sunflower seeds, chocolate chips. D. D chocolate chips. Final up. Final. Got it for four thousand. <laughs> hey, they're going for eight thousand dollars right now on the TV series American Gladiators. What was the name of the final event? Breakthrough. The Eliminator. The maze, hang tough. I've never seen that show. I think this sounds like an ask the audience kind of a question. All right, guys, we'll ask the audience. Rob and Mike need your help. If you're ready, on your keypads using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Well, 65% are calling it the Eliminator. 22% say the Maze. Let's go with the audience. Be the Eliminator. Final. Final. Yes, the Eliminator. $28,000. All right, two lifelines still here. $16,000, and here it comes. 
Where are the smallest bones in the human body? Ear, spine, nose, hand. Ear, I would say. Let's go with A, ear. Final? Final. Got it for 16,000. We're up to $32,000 right now. Which of the following U.S. cities was named for an Indian chief? Detroit, Michigan, Chicago, Illinois, Seattle, Washington, Fairbanks, Alaska. That would be C, Seattle, Washington. Final? Final. Yes, Rob, $32,000. of the Duwamish and the Susquamish tribes. How are we splitting this money anyway? Well, the kids are all getting um, a, a piece of it. It sort of depends on how far we go. But if you get a million dollars, what does uh, Micah get? More than he deserves. Oh. Ouch! <laughs> no, more than, more than he should have at the age of 16, <laughs> put it that way. Okay. Well, we're up to 64,000. Here it is. Which of these reggae musicians sings the theme song for the animated children's TV series, Arthur? Jimmy Cliff, Maxie Priest, Bob Marley, Ziggy Marley. Ziggy Marlin. Final answer, Rob? Yes, final answer. Yes! Ziggy Marlin. $64,000. Let me get back. They're going for $125,000. Who wants to be a millionaire on Thanksgiving Day night? Rob Oldridge and his son, Micah. And so what do we have to be thankful for this year? Bob, Rob, why don't we start with you? Five children, four grandchildren. They all seem to uh, love me. That's quite a bit to be thankful for. Okay, and you? Well, I was trying to I think, know, you found uh, your girlfriend. Big deal. No, hey. <laughs> that too. But everyone up there was saying family. And I was trying to think of a cool way to say family, but I couldn't. So I'm just going to say my family and my well, you're friends. You're first, so you get to say it first. Okay, my family and my friends. That's what I'm thankful for. And the fact that you're here. And, and, and you're going to win a million dollars. I hope so. <laughs> All right. You won 64 already. You're four away from winning that million. You can still make a phone call, too. So here we go for 125000 Let's play. <laughs> Which of the following is subject to an effect called the Chandler Wobble? Frisbee. Earth. Soap bubble. Human brain. Well, I've never heard of the Chandler Wobble, so that makes it a little bit hard to begin with. It sounds like um, it sounds like a. Uh, it could be the Earth, but it would just be a guess. So I think I'd need to use that last uh, lifeline. Sure. For friend. Who do you want to call, Rob? I'd like to call Brian. What, what does he do? He's a science teacher at the high school. This is our guy. If Good. I'm guessing right. Yeah. Good choice. All right, AT and T. We need Brian. Hello, Brian. 
Yes. Yeah, hi, Regis Philbin here from ABC's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hi, Regis. How you doing? Doing pretty good. I've got one of your students here, Micah. Uh -huh. Micah? And, and his father, Rob. Right. And all Micah wants to talk about is his girlfriend. Have you heard about her? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, it's a big story. Big story. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, they've got a question for you and four possible answers, okay? Okay. All right, Brian. Um, you've got 30 seconds, guys, so they start right now. Brian, which of the following is subject to an effect called the Chandler Wobble? A frisbee, the earth, a soap bubble, or the human brain? Chandler Wobble, C-H-A-N-D-L-E-R. Rob, I'm, I'm guessing a frisbee. How sure are you? Um, 50-50. Five seconds. I'm, I'm gonna stick with the frisbee. Yeah. So he's guessing it's uh, the frisbee. You lose thirty-two thousand in here if you don't get it. No lifelines left. In other words, you don't think your science teacher knows the answer to this question. Um, You're saying your science teacher could be wrong. Yes. In answering but this. But see, if we guess and he's wrong, then I'll have uh, a little bit of leniency towards my grades. For that's guesses. true, yeah. that's It could be to see. And he, and he needs some leniency, so that's <laughs> Okay, let's go for it. No, 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 I don't want to talk you into it. I, I, no. no, no, it's... Well, he should know. He's a science teacher. He should, he know, should know, but he wasn't sure. Well, he, he's heavy into astronomy, so I, I don't think it would be the Earth. He probably would have heard of it. I don't think soap bubbles uh, wobble in particular. So let's go with A, Frisbee. Okay. Want to make it your final answer? Yeah, final answer. No, it was the Earth. It was the Earth. Well, anyway, Rob, 32,000. Uh, nice to meet you. Say hello to your cousin science teacher. Thanks a lot. Okay. Oh, the old Chandler Wobble. Yes, indeed. Well, maybe Michael will get a break on his uh, science grades. The Chandler Wobble, if you didn't know, is a very subtle uh, wobbling of the Earth as it rotates on its axis. And that's all I can tell you. But let, but who's Chandler? Anyway, let's keep moving with the next fastest finger question, okay? Here it comes. Put these dynasties in geographic order by the primary country they rule, starting in the Atlantic Ocean and going east. Habsburg, Romanov, Stuart, Tokugawa. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting in the Atlantic Ocean and going east. Stuart. Then Habsburg, Romanov, Tokugawa. It's the right order. Who got it in the fastest time? Let's see. The winner is uh, David Campbell and Peyton King. Hi, Peyton. How you doing? David, how are you? Come on, let's go. Let's play. So here's uh, David Campbell and his son Peyton from Metairie, uh, Louisiana. Nice to have you guys here. Congratulations. Great to be here. How old are you, Peyton? Eight. And what grade are you in? Second grade. Uh-huh. And what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I want to be a... <laughs> he has plenty of time to decide. <laughs> I think he does, too. And your wife is sitting back there. Let's see. Her name is Alvina. Hi, Alvina. How you doing? Nice to have you here. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm an auditor with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, guys. You know about the rules. You know about your lifeline. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Here we go. It's David and Peyton. $100 question. In the traditional game of tag, what is said when the person is tagged? Gotcha. Get out of here. You're it. I'm not playing anymore. Do you know what it is? C. You're, You're it. Final answer? Yes. Final. Final. Got it. $100. <laughs> Two 
$200. A school-sponsored student trip to a museum is called what? Day hop? Field trip? Easy pass? Escape? B. Field trip. Final answer. Final answer, yeah, field trip it is. $200, they got it. Okay, guys, here we go, $300. According to the nursery rhyme, what did a little Miss Muffet sit on? Stool, a bench, a tuffet, a thumbtack. Tuffet. Yeah, you got that one, too, for $300. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Peyton on fire. $500. What pro sport requires a game ball with a fuzzy texture? Tennis, football, softball, soccer. May I have a turn? I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, I don't... I'll answer for you then, okay? A uh, tennis ball. Yes, the tennis ball, Peyton. Fuzzy around the edge. Here we go for $1,000. What is the title of Britney Spears' most recent album? Baby, One More Time. Oops, I Did It Again. Hot in the Shade. Falling Into You. B. Are you a Britney Spears fan? No. Oops, I did it again. I think you're right, but I want to ask the audience just to be sure. Peyton, do you mind if we ask the audience? I guess or, or so. Or do you know the answer? I know. B. Okay. <laughs> he sounds like he knows it. I know, but... Hey, this is for real money. Let's go and ask the audience on this one. You, you don't mind, do you, Peyton? No. I don't want there to be a lifelong grudge here, you know what I mean? I'll let him live. Okay, we're gonna go to the audience. Audience, we need your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Seventy-four percent of the audience <laughs> agrees with Peyton. Oh, I don't know okay. if Peyton swayed them or if that's really it. Well, with that kind of a margin, I think I'll go with uh, B. What do you think, Peyton? Oops, I did it again? Yes. You tried to tell us early. I told you. <laughs> Not me, it's him. Hey, what can I say? Wasted a whole lifeline on this. I know. I'm sad. Final answer, Dave? Final answer. Yes, Peyton, you are right for a thousand dollars. Louisiana, David Campbell, his son Peyton. Quite a scene there, but I guess Peyton, he was almost adamant. He knew it. Okay, so you burned a lifeline, but you're still in the game. Alvina, what did you think? He always amazes me. Would you have gone to the audience in this case? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about uh, Peyton. Peyton, uh, when you asked him who he wanted to be, when he was six, he came and decided that he didn't want to do softball for a while, that he wanted to be John Travolta. He couldn't say his bees very well at six. Mm -hmm. So he takes dance classes every Saturday with 30 girls. He says it doesn't bother him. He likes girls. 30 girls and you, Peyton? Is there another guy in the class? Nope. So, here's where we are. You want $1,000. You got two lifelines left. And we're going for $2,000. And we're going to go all the way to a million, Peyton. You're going to become a millionaire right here. Let's play. Here we go. For $2,000 in the classic book, Good Night Moon, what animal can be found hiding on every color page? A gopher, lamb, fly, mouse. Peyton, I'll answer this, okay? I'll answer it for you. I believe it's D, mouse. Mouse. Final answer? Final answer. Yes, you're right, Dad. It's the mouse. 
All right, we're up to $4,000. In the 1998 movie, A Bug's Life, the ants are terrorized by what insects? Grasshoppers? Spiders? A grasshopper. <laughs> hey, I gotta finish. Don't steal his thunder. C, bees, or D, cockroaches. Now, you still want to make it? A. He saw the movie. He saw the movie. I didn't, I guess. Well, well what do you think? You want to make it your final answer? Let's make it final. Peyton is right for $4,000. Here it is now for 8,000. According to a recent ad campaign, a man lost 245 pounds by eating food from what franchise? Pizza Hut, Subway, Wendy's, Taco Bell. I saw this. He lost 245 pounds by eating food from which of these uh, stores? Pizza Hut, Subway, Wendy's, or Taco Bell? Think it's B. Did you hear about this story, Peyton? Yeah, I think you're right. B, Subway. Final? Final answer. Subway is right. $8,000. We had a turkey sub for lunch and a veggie sub for dinner. All right, 16000 Which of these foreign countries was a common destination for slaves? on the Underground Railroad. Mexico, Cuba, Canada, England. I'll have to answer this one, okay? C, Canada. Final? Final. Canada, the right answer. <laughs> you won 16,000, David Boeing, for 32,000. Take a look. What part of a plant produces pollen? The stamen, pistil, leaf, Root. Um, I think it's where, um, something inside. So um, what would that be, then? Um, I don't know what answer. Let's see. Try to remember my biology. Got it down to two, David. Yeah. I'm taking a 50-50. You think so, huh? David, really? should, shouldn't we talk about it first? I guess not. Mm. Well, maybe he's got a point. <laughs> maybe he does. What do you think, David? You think you've got two possible answers in your head. You want to narrow it down to 50-50 and see if both of them show up? Well, they probably both will show really? up. Really? Okay. Yeah. I think I'd rather phone a friend on this one. Sure. What do you want to call? Yeah. I want to call Ramona. What does Ramona do? She's a uh, uh, teacher for St. Bernard Parish. Not another science teacher. Um... You know, I can't remember what she did. I think she teaches elementary, but I can't remember now. Let's get Ramona on the line. AT&T, please. Hello? Hello, Ramona. Hello, yes. Yeah, hi. Regis Philbin calling from New York. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. I'm here with David and Peyton. Okay. And we need your help, all right? Yes. They're going to read you a question and four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. Okay. Okay, guys, you've got 30 seconds, and they start right now. Good luck. What part of a plant produces pollen? What part of a plant produces pollen? And the choices are? Stamen, pistil. Stamen. Stamen, pistil, leaf, root. Pistil, leaf, and root. Okay. I think it's either the stamen or the pistil. Um, 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. I, would, I am about 50% sure it's the stamen. 
and that's about as good as I could get. Well, I thought she said statement, right? Mm -hmm. But she was only 50% sure. Yeah. David, what did you think they were? I was going the same way she was, uh, stamen and pistol. Leaf and root, definitely not. Let's try 50-50 and see what happens. Why don't we do that? Computer, take away two of those wrong answers. Yeah. Of course. Well, we got it down a stamen or pistol. Had that down it before this. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Um. Oh. Or you can walk away with 16,000. David, you know, sure. If you miss here, you'll go back to 1,000. Mm -hmm. I, I think Ramona's wrong on this. Um, I hate to say that. But, but you know, she said she was only 50% sure, right. so... I think, I think I'm going to go with B. going to go with pistol. See what happens. Peyton, you agree? I know what these do. It must be that one. I think it comes from the pistol onto the stamen. Final answer? B, pistol, final answer. Uh, stamen. Stamen. I'm sorry. But you leave with $1,000. Hey, Peyton, it was great meeting you. That put it there, pal. David, good luck to you and Peyton, fine. okay? <laughs> too bad, too bad. But I thought I heard the little guy say stamen. He had everything right, didn't he? Too bad. Anyway, that was a tough question, but good luck to David and Peyton. He's certainly a smart little boy. Now we have an empty hot seat, so here's the next fastest finger question right now. Here it comes. Put these movies in order of their first theatrical release, starting with the earliest. Pay it forward, tango and cash, milk money, a fistful of dollars. Okay, we're all set here. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest movie, Fistful of Dollars, Tango and Cash, then Milk Money, and finally, Pay It Forward. Let's see who got it right in the fastest time. The winner is Lisa and Colin Williams. Hey, Colin. Lisa, how you doing? Ready to go for a million dollars? Yeah? You and your mother? Yeah. All right, we'll be right back in a moment. Don't go away. Lisa Williamson and her son Colin in the hot seats right now. They're from Kent, Washington. You may recall that last night uh, Justin was from Kent, Washington and uh, was doing very well when the show ended. He'll be back as soon as our family version of Millionaire is over with. Anyway, welcome to the show. Nice to have you here. You. And in the back there is uh, your dad, Brent. How you doing, Brent? I'm good. Brent uh, <laughs> works at a, uh, in fact, manages a trucking company in that area, right? And you work in the company as well. Right. And what do you do? I'm the office manager. And that's how you met? Yes. Uh -huh. Now, tell me about your school. W where do you go to school? Glenridge Elementary. Glenridge Elementary. What grade are you in? Fourth. Do you have a girlfriend? No. <laughs> are you sure? Because the last guy had a girlfriend. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> See, this is the respect you get from kids. You're here knocking yourself out and just throw final answer back in your face. <laughs> kind of funny. All right, so how long have you waited to be here? Did you ever think, first of all, Colin, you'd be sitting right there with your mother? Mm -mm. And here you are with a chance to win a lot of money. Okay? Alicia, are you all set? Yep. Okay, fine. Audience, will be ready? Yeah, let's do it. You know about the rules. You know about the lifelines. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire right now. 
$100. Most Frisbees are made of what material? Wood, rubber, plastic, peanut butter. Plastic, Final? Final. Right answer, plastic. $200. If a student skips school without permission, it is said he is playing what? Hoopla? Hooky? Beethoven? The stock market? Which one do you think? B. B. Hooky? We think B. Hooky. And make it your? Final answer. And you're absolutely right, the play hooky. Going now for $300, a pen is normally filled with which of the following substances? Snow, ink, crude oil, meatloaf. The ink, the ink. Right, it's filled with ink, not meatloaf, Colin. Ink. They're going for $500. What is the total amount of money in your pocket if you have five pennies, five nickels, and five dimes? 75 cents, a dollar, a dollar 55, 80 cents. What do you think, Colin? Just a second. You're in the fourth grade. Come on. <laughs> I'm thinking it's 80 cents. D. How much? 80 cents, D. You're right, Colin. It's 80 cents. <laughs> We're up to 1,000. Which of these animals would most likely molt? Snake, cow, human, bass. I think it's A. You think it's A? A, yeah. For sure? Sure. Okay, A, snake. Final? Yes. Snake, the right answer for $1,000. Way to go, Colin. We'll be back for 2000 in just a moment. Don't go away. Thanksgiving night version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire continues now with Lisa and Colin Williamson, mother and uh, son. And now let's see, you've won $1,000, we're going for $2,000. And if we could give you a piece of this change, you know, a bit of the money that you make here, you get a nice little chunk of it, what would you do with it? Um, buy a Game Boy. A Game Boy? <laughs> okay, you can handle that. <laughs> All right, well, how did you prepare for the show? I studied flashcard-like things that just ask you questions and they tell you the answer below. Uh-huh. Anything come up so far? Uh, On our no. show that you studied? No. Well, let's hope something does, okay? <laughs> Here are 10 away from a million going for 2,000. Let's play. Here we go. In the 1989 Disney animated movie, The Little Mermaid, what is The Little Mermaid's name? Belle. Jasmine, Ariel, Mulan. Which one do you think it is? C, but I'm not sure. I'm, I, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure it's Ariel, too. Because the other ones were from other Disney movies. Yeah. C, Ariel. C, Ariel, final answer. Yeah. Ariel, the right answer for $2,000. Thank you. Up to $400. In what city was the Declaration of Independence signed? New York, Philadelphia, Boston, Washington, D.C. Throwing it to you, Mom. Well, I think it would be D if anything. No, I, I think I know the answer, but I'd like to be sure. I think I'd like to ask the audience. Ask the audience, we can do that. Lisa and Colin need your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Ninety-five percent say Philadelphia. Is that what you thought it was? That is. So we'll definitely go with B. That's our final answer. Yeah, you're right. An audience is right, too. You want $4,000. sound means that we're out of time for tonight, but Lisa and Colin will be back here tomorrow night, and joining them are our remaining family teams, and they are Rod and Mandy Hanson, Paul and Kelly Westmoreland, Gus and Molly Wheeler, 
Peter and Abby Abide, Mary and Jacob Woods, John and Laura Kane, Helen and Laura Barrett, 